right, so here he is, the number one lightweight contender. And man, if that's not saying something, right? Got through the gauntlet at 155 pounds, made himself undeniable. And now tonight, DC, we find out what he has for the champion. It long has been considered the deepest weight class in the UFC. So you know to get here is very tough. You have navigated the water. You have done everything right. When it was time to press square, you press square. When it was time to press X, you press X. And you better do it again tonight if you want to become the champion. There is no room for error as you try to win the UFC championship. And no room for a one-pound allowance. He was right on the number 155 pounds championship weight. Confidence is high that he will wrest the title away. for Dustin Poirier tonight, as he told us in the fighter meeting. Get those hands going early enough. Establishing the jab. Oh, nice knee, that is bone on bone. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Superman punch. Nice head kick. Man. Poirier does a better job when he's the guy going forward. All right, so Dustin Poirier getting off to a pretty good start tonight and all driven by that straight left hand. Yeah, you know, Dustin Poirier is a right-handed guy, so he's pawing at you with the right jab and then boom drops that right hand. We have seen him put some of the best fighters in the world on their back with that straight left hand. Good to see that Dustin Poirier is landing it early in this fight tonight. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line. He's watching the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. Back and forth we go. A couple minutes gone by round one. Great job getting that kick hold. Nice body kick. Bunches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Barely missed on another one. Crowd trying to get behind Poirier. Oh, man. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. That leg kick lands. Under two 
Two minutes now to go. Massive head kick. Oh, nice inside kick. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume two. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability for a combination. Look at that leg. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Poirier going for the takedown. He misses. Nice body shot. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, nice. Power right hand there from the King of Lafayette, Louisiana, Dustin Poirier. Mike Brown there in the corner has really honed Dustin's all-around game, and he certainly finds himself in the middle of his fighting prime. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Second round here. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. And there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Poirier. All right, so the four minute lightweight champ Dustin Poirier in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly puts him out, and you can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155. I can't believe he's gonna fight at Featherweight. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's on his hold at lightweight, and you see the damage he can inflict in one shot. Shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Dustin Poirier. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh, nice look. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. There's the kick. Got the single call. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Oh. Oh, he cut him. Nasty cut on his lip. Take down defense is there. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Poirier gets 
Caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Poirier shot is blocked. His opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to fight that pick. Poirier's eye was starting to swell now. Oh, and that kick is blocked. And there's a takedown attempt. to the body now, that one won't land. All right, so look at that, a cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Poirier gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what, I'm going to take one to give one. All right, well, the calf kick has been a priority, and now his opponent is bruised in that area. It's all in the game plan, John. They had a game plan to come out there and beat that lead leg up, and that's exactly what he's doing. 20 seconds left to go in round two. He hurt him bad. Ten seconds to go in the round. Nice counter right hook there. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible foul. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Nice. Nicely done. There's that straight left from Dustin Poirier yet again. That has been his weapon of choice throughout his career. And he's got it working here in this matchup tonight. He's, he's got it going. You know, DP is a good fighter. The guy is a very talented mixed martial artist. And when he can land that left hand consistently, he is a problem for anybody in the lightweight division. And he is showing why right now. Oh, that will land it. Yep. So that to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage 
Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. Oh, big elbows. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice straight right lands. When he gets close and he throws, he lands. All right, so the bruising on that thigh is getting really bad by the minute. He's going to have a hard time walking in the morning when this fight could end in short order. Even in between rounds, Corey needs to be getting ice from the thigh. He's been beat up in this area. This guy's leg is unrecognizable. Poirier's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Good point of shot in there. Well, he is certainly a lot of blood now, and yes, the doctor is going to be called in. The referee pauses the action. His nose is absolutely mangled. It's smashed. He's done a great job of smashing that nose, pushing it back. You see the blood coming down the face into the mouth, but it should not affect him being able to see his opponent in front of him. And it looks as though it will. Just a little blood, right? It's okay. It's mixed martial arts. Looks like we're going to continue, at least for now. Ready. All right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action to continue. Absolutely. I mean, this official decided you can go. Even though at times the fighter may question whether or not he can do it, we have very smart ringside officials that make a determination. And the determination is, get your butt out there and fight. Let's see what happens. And we have a very smart fighter who is going to have to start protecting that injury to prevent it from getting any worse. Less than two minutes to go in round three. And both guys really throwing with authority. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Fighter lands a jab. High kick landed for him there. Poirier's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like time. Back to his feet. Oh! Well, what got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Well, no feeling that process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now. And he continues to target that area wise. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm bar. What a tight arm bar. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. getting too bad, man. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with the fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Great block there. 
Now he's throwing that jab to the body. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Poirier's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken. And we might get a ringside position or a referee to stop this fight here soon. Takedown defense holds up. All the separation the clinch. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Button. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Oh, switch kick. How good was that? He switches the hip really fast and gets that leg up real quick to the target. Poirier gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. That left hook was crazy. Just over three minutes to go now. Poirier's an absolute mess right now. There is blood everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them. He's so bad. Well, that's straight man. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all the strikes. Oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Big right hand there. Oh, nice double leg, yes. He passes to half guard. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, nice. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Poirier's in half guard now. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete, buddy? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, this corner can stop it. The referee can stop it. The doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. All these actions, though, these big actions, got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Side kick. Well placed. Oh, man. I mean, headshots they are not, but that calf is taking an absolute beating. This is hard to watch. It's hard to watch. It's hard to see a guy so limited in his defenses and not have the ability to do much to change it. We got to look for this fight to be finished here pretty soon. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. Under a minute now to go. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, beautiful head movement, slips there. All right, so no surprise to see the referee call for the ringside position. Gonna come take a look at that damage more closely. So much damage, J.A. This fight is done. Yeah, and he wants to continue, but he will not be afforded that opportunity. So that is it. Fans don't like it, but the doctor has to protect the fighters. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight, declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Asai.